In this video, you'll learn how to set up a captive portal for authentication types such as SLA, permanent users, and temporary users. To configure your Mac authentication settings, click the Wireless tab and select SSID Profiles. Click Add New SSID Profile. In this example, we're using VLAN value 10 for staff. In the Mac authentication selection, choose either local or radius, depending on your needs. If you choose to use radius server, here's an example set of parameters you may refer to. In this example, we choose local, then click Save. To change the access settings for MAC addresses in the local MAC authentication database, navigate to the Wireless tab and click General. To grant access to a wireless client with a MAC address in the database, select Whitelist. To deny access, select Blacklist. There are two ways to add MAC address entries to the local database, using CSV files or via the Detected Clients page. You can manually add or import a CSV of a known client database to the local database. Click the Security tab and select Internal User Database. Click Mac Authentication and import the CSV file. Before you proceed, ensure your CSV file is formatted as shown here. Browse to the folder containing your CSV file and click Upload. To add clients from the detected client list to the local database, go to Status, Wireless Information, Association Clients, and select Detected Clients. Right-click on the MAC address entry and click Add to MAC AuthDB. And you're done.